What's up? It's HiringAdrone.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to calibrate the GPS as well as the magnetic compass on the WL Toys V303 Seeker. Um, now I've got this inside because uh, I was searching online, looked all over, couldn't really find anything in English um, that explained it step by step so I figured I'd make a video hopefully to help someone else out. Um, you know it does come standard with an instructional video from uh, WL Toys but it's not in English and no one talks in it it's a little bit difficult to pick up on it because there's some minor minor nuances that you got to kind of pay attention to while you're doing this in order for it to work out right um, so I have it indoors took the propellers off for safety precautions and so first things first to do it whether you're in the field or at home you might want to practice this before you take it out uh, just so that that way you can get the magnetic compass part of this down because it took me you know, four or five tries out in the field and I couldn't do it. Um, but once I brought it indoors, then I was able to do it just fine. So I'm going to turn on the receiver. So that's on. I'm going to set this over here to the side. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in the plug for the battery. Turn the quadcopter on. And now I'm going to turn it around so that way we can see the lights now the main thing is is that we're going to want to pay attention to the lights because that's the main focus right now it's blinking red because yellow it's trying to find the satellites so we're going to let it turn solid flashing green so make sure there's no red mixed in it so now it's telling us that it has found the satellite so i'm going to set this over here to the side so we can see uh, the transmitter at the same time because this part is critical and this is where it was messing me up so Basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull down on the left stick and it's not just three switches up here which the instructions say. Um, it's actually more so you're just going to wait until this on the first time turns solid green. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. So it's solid green. Make sure that the headless is pointed backwards. Let go of the throttle stick and now I'm going to set the controller down. Now it's time to rotate this, rotate this on its horizontal axis and I'm gonna do it clockwise. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna start rotating it. <clears throat> now, if I go outside of it being level, the green light will actually go out, letting me know it's no longer uh, on the horizontal axis. So I'm gonna do two times around and then I'm gonna set it back down. So the green light is now on. So this is the next set of light patterns that you're going to be looking for. So I'm going to pull down on this left stick again, do the same thing, flip it three times, but I'm going to be waiting for this light to go out. So now it's out, headless is all the way back, setting the controller back down next to the quadcopter. Now this time we're going to go on the vertical axis. So we're going to keep the light up in the air. And once we do that, it's going to turn red. So once I do that, the light is red. Move the camera up so we can see it. Now we're going to turn on the vertical axis here. And if the light goes out red, that means that you're no longer on the vertical axis path. So we're going to do the same amount of rotations. Two is fine. You'll notice the light just went out because no longer on the vertical axis. So now it's time to save the data, store it in there. So we're going to pull down on this and we're going to flip this again until it goes solid green. Solid green, let off and just let it sit there until it starts blinking. And now the magnetic compass has been set. It's ready to actually fly if I were out in the field. So this was giving me some problems, might be giving you some problems too as well. Um, so hopefully this video helped you out. I know there's not a lot out there. I searched for it. To find something step by step and instructions and the light patterns and what they mean um, so you know be sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos flight reviews quadcopter repairs and uh, give this video a like if it helped you out in any way